And I'll hand the question about HART over to the city manager, unless you want to talk about program evaluation. Is the city manager? Oh, uh, can you just repeat the question? Sure, yeah, I was uh, asked in the sort of broad uh, sense of evaluating the, uh, the community safety department, how we're deciding what, what programs to, what calls to respond to, what it looks like. I think I was talking to, to folks at heart a little earlier today about the kinds of calls they're responding to, and I think you know, for folks who are just coming to this, uh, this is the, the heart part of the question in particular, but it could seem like there's a lot of overlap, but the community safety department and, and heart, and, and it was helpful in, in talking with uh, folks at heart just in terms of how they're thinking about it, and they uh, right now do, they don't have a mobile response, for instance, set up, and, uh, and they uh, had a lot of positive things to say about the, the care team. Just curious on the, the city side, thinking about that relationship, what that looks like now, what that could like, look like in the future. This is, a, you know, I'm sure, a much longer conversation as well, but um, just included that in the sort of planning and evaluation piece in the, the sense that, you know, I don't think anything about this is, is set in stone and I uh, wanted to, to make sure to ask about that. Okay. Um, through you, Mayor Simmons, you know, I think, I guess, so is your, just to clarify, like, is your question, your question is regarding... I guess the, to the broadest sense, yeah, well, how does the, how do you see the community safety department relating to heart? Got it. Thank you. Uh, through you, Mayor Simmons, um, I would say that, um, you know, I would say a couple of things. First is, um, I do think that there have been broader questions about just the potential overlap between different kind of services. Um, I do think that in many ways, HART has built up uh, more of a kind of community support model. Um, and as far as I know, I don't believe that they are really doing, you know, uh, emergency response at this point. Um, I am aware there was a Harvard Crimson article that came out a little bit about some of the questions around contracting. Um, you know, I think, I think this has been a little bit challenging and I would sort of just emphasize that, you know, the city has really tried hard to work with Hart on a lot of these conversations. I know there's a little bit of public comment about the contract that they submitted. Um, you know, from the beginning, I really have felt like, uh, it's incredibly important for us to be supporting nonprofits, especially ones that are coming out of the community uh, where people who are very close to the problem are coming up with solutions. Um, I think that was very inspiring to me about Hart's story. And I even met with them uh, in, I think it was October, 2022. So within like a month of when I started, um, I had met with them just to better understand, you know, there's this long history, where are things? Um, and, and I think it's been a real challenge to kind of work through how we would partner and where this would go. Um, you know, to the, to the previous council's uh, policy order, you know, we really did say, let's give HART a chance, and we provided them with a very significant amount of funding. So there's a $300,000 ARPA grant um, that we, uh, we, we, we gave to HART and um, to give them some runway. Uh, and that's a lot more than we have funded many nonprofits for. Uh, to this point, and I think uh, at this point in time, and this is in the update, but they have submitted reimbursements for uh, approximately $30,000 from the city and about $24,000 in addition just came through. Um, I do have some concerns. We're working through some amendments that Hart uh, requested shortly after we signed the contract. This was back in June, so eight months ago. Uh, but we've only got about 10 months left between today, you know, February, we're in mid-February and the end of the year when they really need to draw down the other $250,000 that we've provided. Um, I think the city has certainly uh, had its work to do just to improve some of the, the financial uh, operations around ARPA, but we have, um, you know, we've, we've really done a pretty good job with many organizations, and this is one where it's been hard to get the money out the door. Um, I think despite the frequent public advocacy efforts, um, I would just note Hart did not actually get us that formal proposal until December 2022. So this is only a couple months ago. And uh, within a week or two, we sat down, met with them, discussed the proposal that I think was sent to the council. Um, that proposal does not actually have a budget for program services. Um, and uh, it has an organizational budget. And so uh, that's, helpful, I suppose, but, you know, 
in, in the normal relationship that the city has, there's a contract for services and there's a budget for the actual services that are being delivered that we would then potentially fund. Um, the overall organizational budget of an organization is, is sort of their responsibility to, to manage. Um, and so I think some of, some of the challenge of where we are in terms of this partnership is also just how we can, how we can make progress. I mean, I, I think at this point I would say uh, came into this conversation really eager to make this work. It has been difficult. We've been having it for 18 months. Um, I continue to be open to working with any organization that wants to make a difference in our community. I kind of think at this point, Hart should really focus on utilizing the ARPA money. Um, I would love to see them demonstrate sort of more operational progress, setting up a phone line. Um, I think thinking through like how many interactions, how many responses there they're actually conducting within the community and we can continue discussions about additional operational funding or deeper partnership in the future. Um, but I, I kind of think that's sort of where we're at. Thank, thank you uh, for that response. That's helpful. And um, yeah, I think there's more to, to talk about offline. I was talking with a little bit today about the emergency line and launch plans and pieces, but I'll uh, yield back for now.